fast. Well, he is fast. Hi guys and welcome to this episode of Fishy Angler. After a week of warm weather, our ponds thawed out. So I jumped into my kayak today at the local pond in Delaware and uh, we're gonna go search for bass. So hopefully this moderately warm weather that we had this week uh, have them uh, move around and feed. The air temperature right now is 42. That, that's uh, pretty much uh, for the high today. It's, uh, it's almost noon now. Uh, and the water temperature is 40, almost 42 degrees as well. So last time I was here, it was like 39 degrees and I was catching fish. But today it's a bit higher. So this warm weather last week looks like warm up our ponds and this pond is not that deep so it's uh, faster to warm up so anyhow hopefully we'll get some nice bass today let's wet the line and see what kind of bite we get today all right guys I start at the spot uh, where I was catching fish last time at the end of the November so hopefully fish here I mean I don't see the grass looks like dying out the water is a bit murky so we may uh, fish something uh, more loud today but we'll see so as always I start with my searching crab bait search crab bait it's a man's uh, one minus crankbait it does pretty good in this pond and uh, pretty much any pond in Delaware that I tried so let's see if we can get some fish yeah 42 degrees water should turn them on a bit after freezing front that came in two weeks ago all right guys the hole where I catch most of the fish a month ago is no go I didn't get any bites so I don't know if fish is not there or it's lethargic now but I just have to move around and find where they are and if I'll get any bites so with this water temperature after the cold front I would expect them to bite but who knows maybe they are just not in this particular spot so I'm gonna move around and see if I can find them Okay. So I'm gonna apply a little bit of sand on my crankbait and see if that helps in the surge. So who knows if it's uh, if it's not biting now or not chasing the crankbait it doesn't matter but hopefully that center helps a bit and then uh, later I'll, I'll try jig maybe something slow so we'll see 
so far I haven't seen any bites so I decided to go in the back um, I knew there will be no fish there but um, I just wanted to go and check out um, everything in the back pond there uh, in the back of the pond and uh, for the spring so just to see all the spots deep spots shallow spots kind of thing uh, because in the spring the bass will be there for spawn so went around there and I got in the middle of the pond because this is the place where you can see the bass in the winter so they get in into this deeper spot in the middle but so far I tried my trusted crankbait and um, I cast some uh, jork bait now I'm trying the Rapala crankbait here a little bit smaller size just to see um, if they will go after the smaller bait but so far I haven't seen a bite oh well I guess this is gonna be one of those days so we'll see <laughs> oh boy it's been three hours and I haven't seen any bites and I got dink <laughs> yeah I went around the pond I went to the to the deep portion uh, in the middle of that pond and there was another guy fishing also on a kayak and uh, he didn't get anything but then the third guy show up and I saw he pulled something as well but that was it for the whole day and now I went back to the to the spot that I fished a month ago right where we started today so and I got this thing that's it I mean it is really tough you would think the water temperature water temperature went up a little bit it's 40 uh, 43 and a half degrees but so one and a half degrees came up you would think at that temperature they would bite but apparently not I mean it is a full moon as well so who knows maybe they just fitting at night or whatever but the bite is tough so not much going on right now but all right I'll fish here for probably another hour oh and there's a fish guys looks like they start biting <laughs> later in the afternoon and I was going around everywhere and this one a bit better yeah this one is nicer not giant but at least something <laughs> all right guys so there you go as you can see I don't know later in the afternoon they start moving around the water temperature maybe went up a bit I don't know something something happened and uh, there's a fish it's much better bass I mean not not giant by all means but it is something I mean in this in this situation and what's going on here right now 
I'll take any fish. <laughs> <laughs> uh, look what I got guys, a crappy. So I decided to slow down, kind of give it a pause on the retrieve and uh, crappy, tiny crappy got it. <laughs> All right, so if crappy is sitting, sitting here, I may try to cast my uh, Crappy rod on a small jigs and see if they will bite. But yeah, it looks like this one went after a big one. <laughs> well, guys, after trying a crappy rod, nope, crappy is not active either. I don't know, that one was hungry, tried to get the big crankbait, but. I tossed some uh, curly tail grabs and uh, nothing. So I thought maybe there's a school here of crabbies, but uh, didn't get any bites. And I'm back to the bass crankbait and see it's getting cold. The clouds cover the sun. And it is, I can feel it. So I'm probably gonna be here for another maybe half an hour or so and be going home. So, yeah, today was a tough day, really tough. Oh, I think I got something, guys. All right, I let the I let the crankbait float when I cast it. And look, another crappie. This is just crazy. These crappies, they're not taking curly tail grabs, but they're going after big crankbaits. <laughs> another crappie. And it's a small crappie too. <laughs> oh man. on guys oh not bad whoa this is nicer this is a bit nicer fish on Woo. yep a bit nicer all right here we go late afternoon <laughs> Day biting. Yeah, this one is much better. <laughs> All right, cool. There you go. Yep, getting a little bit of moment, but still, it's a tough day. Fish on, guys, <laughs> and another fish. And another bass. <laughs> there you go. One more bass. Hey, come in here. There you go. Well, somebody sliced his back pretty good. Well, all right. 
There you go, guy. Gone. Well, little by little we get bites here and there. Slow, but there are some bites. Little by little we got a few bass and a couple of crappies. So I'll take that any day. This is the second week of January, so I'll take any bite, any fish. <laughs> All right. Yep, this one, guys. <laughs> Another one. Woo! Fast. Well, he is fast. <laughs> hey! Whoa! Whoa! And this is a nice one too. Whoa! That's the biggest one of the day. <laughs> That's a nice bass. And he was with one hook just barely. Whoa! That's a nice bass. <laughs> Yeah, that's a nice bass. Wow. Yeah. Well, this day turns out to be not that bad, but the beginning was really, really slow. Nice. I liked it much better this way. Yeah, and another bass. <laughs> he barely, barely took it. There you go. Another small one. Another small one. So here we go, guys. <laughs> healthy bass though all right slowly but we find them and slow I mean I can see the hooks getting them just barely you know in the lip and um, I felt a few times you know I feel the tug and then stop but it's actually keeping it in the mouth and then I saw that you know some tension on the on the rod and the line and uh, the fish is there so they just they're not they're not taking them like freight train. <laughs> All right, guys, the sun came down and the wind looks like picked up and it's getting really cold. So I'm gonna end on this. So this day turned out to be not that bad for almost mid January. So I'll take that anytime in Delaware ponds because most of the ponds in Delaware are pretty much shut at this time of year so I'll take it and you guys hit the like button and subscribe don't forget and I'll see you all next time <laughs>